Hi, uh, my name is Deb Hadley. Today is April 6th, uh, 2020, and welcome to Motivational Monday. I am the Spiritual Care Coordinator for Canute Nelson Hospice. So what I'm going to do today is read Jesus Calling. And you can see my book is pretty beat up because I have read this every day for the past seven years of my life. And I feel like every day that Jesus just opens my heart and speaks right to me. And I'm hoping that you'll feel the same way. You can also get this book really nice like this. Um, these were donated by the Unity Foundation to Knut Nelson, and so it's a, an amazing gift. So I'm going to start out April 6th, and this is what the Lord says to you and to me in capital letters. It says, bring me the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Take nothing for granted, not even the rising of the sun. And when I read that this morning, I thought, you know what? We take so much for granted, don't we? We take so much for granted that we're going to wake up, we know what we're going to do for the day. We took our jobs for granted, our families for granted, shopping, going out to eat, uh, toilet paper. We took all those things for granted, didn't we? We took for granted that when we pass away that our loved ones are going to be able to be with us. We took for granted that, um, that we would be able to do whatever that we want to do. And those privileges were taken away from us. But the Lord says, do not take anything for granted, not even the rising sun, because we're not even guaranteed this day. So the fact that we're in it so far, he asks us to come to him with thanksgiving and to be grateful and see all the beauty and the blessings that are before us. Before Satan tempted Eve in the Garden of Eden, thankfulness was as natural as breathing. But Satan's temptation involved pointing Eve to the one thing that was forbidden to her, the one thing. The garden was filled with luscious, desirable fruits, but Eve focused on the one fruit that she couldn't have. And rather than being grateful for all the other things that were in her life, rather than being grateful and seeing it all, she had this negative, dark focus in her mind that she wanted that fruit on that tree. She wanted the fruit of, uh, from the tree uh, of the knowledge of good and evil. And it was Satan who said, you can have all the fruit, but from that tree. And Eve says, yeah, the Lord says that we can't have that. Well, what will happen if you do have that? She said that they will die. Well, God never did say that. But Satan said, you will not die. Oh my gosh, he doesn't want you to have that because he doesn't want you to be as wise as he is. He wants to control you. So what did Eve do? She ate the fruit. She gave the fruit to Adam. And then the world became dark and sin entered this world. So when you focus on what you don't have or on a situation that displeases you, your mind will also become darkened. And we are in a situation right now where I bet you a lot of this displeases you because a lot of it displeases me. We're in a situation we cannot control and it can really darken our mind if we, control, if we really focus on the negative, the hardships or the circumstances that are in our life. So as you take for granted life, salvation, sunshine, flowers, and countless other gifts from me. We take for granted all those things, but they're right before us. And he says, instead, you look for what's wrong, and you refuse to enjoy life until that is fixed. And so while you're here in this world, and while we're waiting for this virus to pass, that we fix our thoughts on the things that are worthy and good and right and just and kind and loving and beautiful, and that we don't focus on everything that's wrong in this world. Because I tell you, when you start to focus on the hardships in your life, when you focus on your financial situation, even though it is true, when you focus on loved ones that have passed away, even though that they have, when you focus on the broken things in your life, it'll darken your mind and it'll bring you down. The Lord says, even though those, those things are true, even though you're struggling in hardships, focus on me. I am the light and I am the truth and I will help you get through this and focus on the beauty that I put before you. He says, when you approach me with thanksgiving, the light of my presence pours into you, transforms you through and through. So when we focus on him and we focus on the blessings, even though there are hardships in this life, then he fills us with his light and he can transform us. Our circumstances may not change, but we do. We change from the inside out. We can shine his love on others. It says, walk in the light with me, by practicing the discipline of being thankful. So with that, I'm just gonna ask you to bow your head and close your eyes. I'm gonna say a quick prayer. 
So dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for the gifts of today. And Lord, help us to focus on the beauty that's before us. Lord, sometimes it's so easy to darken our minds and see the things that are not going right. Lord, there are people out there whose loved ones are really sick and they can't be with them, Lord. I ask you to fill them so full of your presence. Lord, we are grateful for the facilities that we have for our elderly, for the front line that is the hands and feet of you, Lord, taking care of them, for our leadership team, Lord, that is making sound decisions that is the best for all of us and for our patients, Lord. Help us to be uh, open to them. Lord, wrap your arms around and pr protect them, Lord, please. Lord, we ask that you provide healing to all of us, that you eliminate this coronavirus from our world, and Lord, that you fill us with the light of your presence, Lord, and that once this is over, that we become your hands and feet and people can surely see the love of you, Lord, shining straight through us. So Lord, we are grateful. We are thankful. Um, we are blessed in this day. Help us to see all the beauty and the blessings in it. And so with that, I ask you to be kind, give more, stay humble, shine God's love and light on all you meet. God bless you richly and have a great day. Mm -hmm.